All right, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakwadash. Secondly, I want to give double honors to our apostles and our elders here at Great Millstone for teaching us this truth and who rule well. And Shalom to all you brothers across the four corners of this earth pushing this word with all righteousness and sincerity. Shalom. All right, it's your brother Kabad from GMS Heaven Yonah 144, GMS South Carolina Midlands Camp. Just coming back with a video through the power and the spirit of Yahweh Bashim and Yahweh Shai. And Lord willing, this video is edifying and good nourishment to the house of David. All right, and as we just get straight into it, um, I want to uh, play this uh, video, all right, because the, the, the title says UN officials, right, UN official, world food shortage going from bad to worse. All right, and these are all signs that the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans should be paying attention to. All right, because here it is, this devil is potentially uh, uh, ready to come down with a great wrath, man. All right, you recently had uh, uh, Mr. Uh, Fauci uh, so-called step down from the, the medical administration. All right, so this that's that's a, a clear sign of this devil is ready to implement, uh, implement and make so-called moves against you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. And then what? You had uh, Mr. Gates buy up all the, uh, uh, the, all the, the certain uh, crops and agriculture places. All right. Meaning and here it is. This guy is supposedly be dealing, supposed to be dealing with computers and whatnot. But yet he's buying up farms and whatnot. And that's not raising a flag or raising an eyebrow to the Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans. Instead, our people are more so consumed with still loving the ways of this world. All right. Thinking that things are going to go back to normal, because when you read a little bit of this article. All right. I'm going to try to play the video as well, too. It says, um, just reading a little bit, it says rival, uh, rising global food prices brought on by Russia invasion of Ukraine and commodity shortage triggered by climate emergencies are threatening to destabilize economies around the world. A United official warned the number of people acutely hungry have dramatically accelerated since the beginning of the vid 19 pandemic. While 135 million people faced acute insecurity before the pandemic, the number has more than doubled to 276 million over the last two years. So here it is. This article is letting you know that the, for, the shortage of food has doubled. But see, our people, the fact that you still can go to these restaurants and the fact that you still can go to these fast food places and you can go to these grocery stores, and they're not, our people aren't paying attention. They don't think that nothing's bad is going to come to the soils over here, man. Though you go into the food places and see that the, pr the prices are skyrocketing and inflation is taking place, you can see that when you go to some of these stores, they don't have what you're going to look for. But see, our people are so stuck on stupid and not measuring the time. These are all signs of that great famine that's about to take place, man. All right. Inevitably, as we're going to get Amos 8 and 11, the most important famine that's going to take place is the famine of hearing the word. Because right now, through the spirit of the most high, we're giving our people that warning. We're doing what we're commanded to do. All right. But see, the Negroes, Latinos and Native American, they have a they have a, 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 a very docile state of mind, man. They, they're, they're in that real comfortable state of mind in that spirit of uh, uh, Jeremiah 2 and 14, where it says, why is Israel spoiled? Why is he a home born slave, man? Because our people are so goddamn stuck on stupid that they don't take heed to warning, man. Here it is. The Lord has set up, beginning with our apostles and our elders, to be watchmen to the nation of Israel, to give our people the warning. That way, when we see these bad times coming, we already know what to do. Being in that spirit of Isaiah 33 and 6, man. All right? Being in that spirit of, of knowing that the, the wisdom and knowledge that's in these scriptures is going to be the stability to keep us comfortable, uh, uh, to keep us uh, 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 pretty much to give us that comfort, man. All right. That way we won't be uh, falling short like the rest of our people are going to do, man. But according to the scriptures, as we know, uh, and, and we're going to operate our desire through the spirit, operate our desire through the spirit. We'll pull out all these these things that I'm quoting for edification's sake, because at the end of the day, man, two thirds of our people ha has got, as the scriptures say, going to get cut off and die and perish in this place. Now, we're going to watch a little bit of this video and, and then because um, we read a little bit of this article. Brothers and sisters, uh, is here's the article once again. And it came out yesterday, uh, the 23rd of August, 2022. But well, let's see what the video says. We'll look at a little bit of it. The world is growing hungrier than ever with conflicts such as the war in Ukraine, impact food production and shipments. Climate shock is ravaging crops and the economic consequences of COVID-19, leaving many populations vulnerable, especially as some of the world's poorest countries. While food commodity prices have declined recently, they are expected to remain high into 2023. 
Let's bring in the chief economist of the World Food Program. We've got Arif Hussein joining us from Rome today. Um, Arif, it's certainly good to talk to you. An important topic here, and I know you've been at this for a very long time, but it feels like there have been so many um, factors that have lined up all at the same time. The Russia-Ukraine war, we've talked about energy prices, and then, of course, the climate shocks that have really been underlying all of it. What are you seeing from a top-down view? Um, hi, Kiko. Thanks for having me. I think it's um, the, the the story gets keeps on getting, you know, from up to worse to worse kind of thing. Um, just to put that in perspective, I mean, uh, pre-COVID, we were talking about 135 million people uh, in hunger crises or worse situations. Um, that number went up to 276 million uh, thanks to COVID. And today, with the combination of COVID and Ukraine, we are looking at 345 million people. Uh, this is uh, out of these 345 million people in about 80 plus countries, there are about 50 million people who are like a step away from famine. We call them in hunger emergencies. And there are about close to a million people who are in fact in, um, in famine type situations. Now, we're going to pause right there because notice what he said. In, in almost in the brinks of famine. And what do you hear about famine at in the scriptures? Now, real quick, this is taking place right here in Sumter. All right. And, and maybe at some of these other Walmarts as well. But as you can see, hey, is the script the article says this is something the community watch page. It says, I guess I better get prepared for the unknown. This is what a person posted. But look at it. This is an emergency food kit, man. And they're selling them for twenty five dollars in Walmarts, man. So what you what are they, what are these out here for, man? All right. What does this mean? All right. See, our people don't pay attention to stuff like this, man. These are all signs of of, of a, that great famine that's about to take place, man. And notice that within that article, when we were looking at that video, too, they were talking about war. The scriptures speak about rumors of war as well, too. Now, let's get um real quick. Let's get let's get real quick. This is Jeremiah chapter 30, verse seven, because this is what it's all about, man. It says, at last, for that day is great. So that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble. All right. But he shall be saved out of it. Now, the scriptures say, alas, for that day is great so that none is like it. Here it is, man. As we just uh, read the article and we heard a little bit of the video that it has recently doubled in, 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 in famine that's taking place in the world, man. And what is that going to do? It's going to continuously grow and grow and grow like those labor pains that we speak of, like a woman travail of as the scriptures speak of. All right. Because hey, these are, are, are those are labor pains that's hitting this place con consistently, man. All right. Because it has doubled in the in the in the midst of two years. And that means it's what is not only it's not going to get better. It's going to continue to get worse. The article said things are going from bad to worse. All right. But this is the, where our people are not measuring the time diligently, man, aren't paying attention to the signs. Now, it says this is the time of Jacob trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. Now that he is talking about the what? The hopeful, humble, fearful elect, man. The ones that fear you, how about Shema, Shai? The ones that's waiting and depending on the most high, man. All right, because when this famine hits, and we're going to get that in Isaiah too as well. I know I'm saying a lot of things, but I'm going to rise out through the spirit. We're going to get all these things because we got to give our people that reassurance to the ones that believe and trust in the most high. Hey, the most high is going to take care of those as we just read, but he shall be saved out of it because this time of Jacob's trouble is going to be a time like no other, man. All right. It, it, it said in the article right there, like 50 million people are already in the midst of famine, man. All right. Now, if you're not going to have uh, food and water, Hey, then that's, that means also the most detrimental fa famine of all is not hearing the words of the Lord because the words of the Lord is going to be able to get you through, man. All right. This is what's going to get you through. And we're going to and, and just to back that up real quick. Isaiah 33 and six straight to the point. It says, and wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and the strength of salvation. Meaning that when all hell is breaking loose in the midst of Jacob's trouble, the wisdom and knowledge from these scriptures, all right, understanding the words of the Lord, Yahweh by Shema Shai, is going to get you through, man. All right, you're going to be the strength of your salvation. The scripture says the fear of the Lord, Yahweh by Shema Shai, is his treasure, man. All right, the ones that that's really seeking the Lord ten times more, the ones that fear the Lord, the ones that's keeping the statute laws and commandments to the best of their abilities, the ones that's not trusting in this place but putting their trust in Yahweh by Shimei Shai. As the scripture says, it's better to trust in the Lord than to put your trust in men. 
And see, most of our people have their trust in men and their society and they have their trust in their politics and their mayors, their governors and their, their so-called uh, uh, officials and legislators. And they don't look to, 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 to put their trust in the Lord, Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shai, because as we just read, man, the wisdom and knowledge is going to be the stability. That's what's going to uh, uh, give us that comfort, man. All right. That's what's going to protect us, man. You're not going to get protection from your goddamn enemy and from these goddamn these heathens, man. All right. Here it is, man. We're on the on the on the brinks of all war, man. All hell breaking loose, man. As we just read, a time like no other, man. That means that uh, any like from slavery, post slavery, uh, uh, um, uh, uh, the civil rights movement, any 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 so called bad time it was for the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans is not going to compare to the time of Jacob's trouble, man. Because Jacob's trouble is going to affect the whole world, man. As we can already see. That, that that the UN, that, that article that we're reading is talking about affecting the whole world, man. All right. Now, let's get real quick. Amos, Amos 8 and 11, just to talk because they're talking about that famine. And it says, behold, the day is come up, saith the Lord, Yahweh by Shema, with Shai, thy power, that I will send a famine in the land. All right. Now, as we can see, man, from that article, that famine in the land is already taking place, man. All right. You can go to your local grocery stores and see that the famine has already begun, man. All right. You can. It, it's happening right now amongst our, our eyes, man. And it says not a famine of bread, nor a thirst of water, because right now people still can go to the grocery stores, get a little, get their food, get their water. But but as we see in that article, things are doubling. It went from 135 to 276 million. And that number is going to do what? Continue. It's the snowball effect. It's going to continue to grow and grow and grow and grow until, hey, because when we think back to whenever the uh, pandemic first started, hey, you went to the supermarkets and you didn't have anything in there. You couldn't find wo uh, water, couldn't find alcohol, couldn't find sanitizer. Now, what's going to happen when Jacob's trouble is in full effect? You're not going to be able to find anything, man. You're not even going to have the trucks moving, man. You're not going to be able to even get those so-called resources. But once again, if you have the spirit of the Lord, all right, if you have this wisdom, knowledge and understanding, that's what that's going to be enough to keep you stable, man. And the Lord is not slack concerning his promise, man. All right. Now it says, a Amos 8 and 11, behold, the day is come, saith the Lord, Yahweh by Shema, Shai, thy power, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst of water, but of hearing the words of the Lord, Yahweh by Shema, Shai. All right. And that's going to be the famine that's going to hurt the most for you Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans, because right now, as we as we quoted second address nine. All right. Matter of fact, I'm going to do this right quick. Me. Um. Put this. We're gonna hold the Isaiah 65. All right, we're gonna um, we're gonna put uh this Amos right here. Hold the Isaiah 65. We're gonna put the Amos right here. Amos 8 and 11. We're gonna hold that right here on this app. All right, and we're gonna go back to here, and we're gonna put uh Second Edges on the screen. Second Edges chapter nine and one, and it says, He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself. All right. So what does the script say? Measure the time diligently, man. And that's what our people are not doing, man. They're not measuring the time diligently. They're not paying attention to the signs. They're not uh, uh, as we bring out these articles and as we bring out prophecy, man. Our people aren't they, they, they aren't they aren't taking heed to the warnings, man. Here it is. We're out here blowing this spiritual trumpet, giving the Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans their instructions according to the scriptures, man. And what do they do? They despise wisdom and instructions, man. Going back to they have no fear of the Lord, man. So that's why when the Lord uh, 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 casts his judgment on this place, man, it's, it's, it's going to be to their own fault, man, because they don't have that fear of the Lord, man. They're despising the wisdom and instructions that the Lord has given them, man. And how's the Lord giving it? The Lord, how's the Lord speaking, man? The Lord is speaking through his prophets, man. And, and Because, hey, we're commanded to, come, to give our people that warning, man. And that's what we're doing, man. Showing our people through, through videos, through, through articles. Through, and, and then inevitably linking it up and matching it up with the words of the, of, the, of the scriptures, man, which our people claim that they know. And then you still have the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans being what? A rebellious ass children, man. All right? Being a rebellious house, man. Leaning on your own understanding, man. That's why the scripture said, and um, real quick, hold this right quick, Jeremiah. I'm going to jump to Jeremiah, and I'm going to jump right back to that second edge. It's Jeremiah 2 and 14, and it says, Is Israel a servant? Is he a homeborn slave? Why is he spoiled? Because this place, America, and his defiled fucking rules, and his and his after after the Lord said, "Learn not the ways of the heathen." Our people learn, adapt, and, and and say that this is tradition, 
And, they, and what do they become, man? They become slaves to this society. They become spoiled to this society. When guess what? This is not your rest, man. This society and all these rules and laws and legislations are going to come to naught, man. The Lord is about to destroy this place, man. But our people want to be spoiled here, man. Here it is. We're showing them that, hey, the famine is on the way, man. All right? The, the, the food is, is about to be skyrocket high prices man but people are still running around in that do as thou will spirit man as this devil is gradually and gradually just implementing all type of laws and legislations and our people aren't, aren't even paying attention man all right when the lord said we children of the light man our people still wandering around in god doggone darkness man and wondering why things aren't are, are, aren't going to be good or, or things aren't going their way man all right because hey the lord says well he he, he gives you up to your your, your uh vow Roughly paraphrasing your your vile uh, infect, uh, affections, man. What what you people love so much? Hey, that's the spirit of the Lord just giving you over to that. Because here it is, the Lord is trying to give you that warning, trying to give you that rope to pull yourself up. But what are people doing instead of using the rope to pull themselves up? They're taking the rope and putting it around their neck and hanging themselves, man. And they're gonna die right here with this place, man. All right, let's get back to Second Edges. Second Edges chapter 9, verse 1, and it says, He answered me then and said, Measure thy the time diligently in itself, and when thou seest part of the signs past, which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he has made. All right? And the Lord is making his visitation upon this place, man. All right? And we're giving our people that warning, letting our people know, letting our people know all the signs that you're seeing from inflation, from from God dog on famine, from pestilence, from plagues, to the uproars of people, to the rumors of the world. These are all signs that the Lord is about to make that great return, man. All right. And once again, here it is right here. It says, um, 2 Edges 9 and 3. Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, then shalt thou well understand that the Most High spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. All right. So, hey, man, the Lord been speaking about these things from the beginning, man, that the end time is is, is rapidly approaching, man. But, hey, our people, as, as we said, because here it is, earthquakes and uproars of the people is taking place, man. Over here in South Carolina, man, for, for instance, man, here it is, we've been having earthquakes that happen in this place just back to back to back, man. Now, before 20, 10, 20 years ago, hey, you would think that was far-fetched to hear about earthquakes in South Carolina, but now it's becoming a normal thing, man. But see, once again, the people in South Carolina, they aren't considering that. Even as we showed this thing right here, man, right here in the, 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 the local uh, something Walmart, man. And I'm sure it may be in other brothers' Walmarts as well, too. But see, our people aren't looking at this as a sign of, of bad times coming because why would they be making these emergency uh, uh, survival kits for, man, food kits, man? Showing you that there's about to be a famine and a shortage of food out here, man. All right. And then we also got the article to back it up, man, of how the famine... A food is, is doubling in this place, man. But getting back to this Amos 8 and 11, because the famine that's really going to hurt, because as we said, as, as the scripture said, man, not a famine of bread and not a famine of water. All right. But inevitably that famine is coming as well, too. All right. Because we, we, we've we already seen that and experienced that, especially during uh, the time we're approaching now, so-called hurricane season. Typically, whenever there's a, 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 a warning of a great storm or something that's coming in the greatest storm, which is Jacob's trouble is about to hit, it's going to be a famine of food and water. But inevitably, the most famine that's going to hurt the most is a famine from hearing the words of the Lord. Let's continue on, because when that famine hits, now you're going to have people with this type of mentality. This is Amos 8 and 11. Behold, the day is come, saith the Lord, Yahweh by Shema, with Shai, thy power, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord, Yahweh by Shema, with Shai. And they shall wander from sea to sea, and from north even to the east, they shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord and shall not, I repeat, and shall not find it. All right. So the time is now, as we just read Second Edges 9, measure the time diligently in, in itself, man. Because when all hell breaks loose, all right, when Jacob's trouble is in full effect, man, guess what? You're not going to be able to seek the words of the Lord. You're not going to be able to find the words of the Lord. The men that the Lord had on the highways and byways giving our people the warning, you're not going to be able to find them anymore. But see, that's the mind frame of the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. They like to be in that procrastination state of mind. They like to wait till the very last second, which is why we got the term uh, uh, CPT. We're going to say IPT, Israelite people time, man. Usually, you know, we say colored people time, but Israelite people time, they like to wait till the last goddamn second, man. Wait till the last doggone literal second 
to try to to try to get right, man. All right, you see it all the time. Jake will be committing all type of crimes and adultery and all type of stuff, and then when he get caught up, hey, for, for instance, man, you got the uh, those rappers, uh, uh, Gunner and Young Thug. Now all of a sudden they want to be trying to say they're seeking the Lord and trying to find the Lord. But just uh, two years ago, man, they was out here talking about getting a bag, committing adultery, doing drugs, all type of things that's totally against the scriptures, man. And now all of a sudden now they want to be seeking the Lord, man. But see, this is how niggas, this is how you, this is how people work, man. Procrastination, man. Procrastination. And if I'm not mistaken, just I know that procrastination is is it, it, it kind of goes into. Our people just dragging their knuckles, feeling like something is old to them, man. All right, and you don't want to be in that procrastination state of mind because that's gonna that's gonna inevitably gonna bring death, man. Because the Lord can, gonna, gonna just hey let your mind be idle out there, let your mind just remain in the, in the congregation of the dead, so to speak, man. All right, instead of being actively trying to, to the best of your abil abilities, being a hearer and a doer of the word, man. All right, now um we're gonna jump to uh. Because uh, going back to Isaiah 33 and 6, all right, it says what? It says, um, and wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength of thy salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. All right, because the ones that fear the Lord, Yahweh, Shimon, they're going to tr they're going to trust in the Lord, man. They're going to know that hey, when all this famine is taking place, man, that as the Lord said, his servants shall eat, man. All right, the ones that truly fear the Lord, as we read uh, Amos 30, I mean, uh, uh, Jeremiah 30 and 7, we want to go back to that one, because just to show that trusting and believing in the Lord, Yahweh Bashim al Shai, you're going to be protected. All right, now, back at, um, what are we going to get with? Jeremiah 30 and 7, and we're going to jump to Isaiah 65. This is Jeremiah 30 and 7, and it says, once again, alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble. All right, notice it says Jacob talking about Israel, man. It's going to be trouble for you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. All right, because this is the time that you're supposed to be seeking the Lord and getting right with the Lord. That way you know when, whenever we're seeing all these signs, as we read in 2nd Edges 9, man, when we see these signs and these things happening, we already know that this is the time that the Lord is about to visit this place. This is the time to be putting away you got dog on sinful ways, man, because the wages of sin is death, man. This is the time to be drawing near to the Lord, seeking the Lord while he is near. All right. All right. Uh, 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 just seeking the Lord 10 times more, man. All right. Uh, uh, staying. Uh, uh, what, what's that? What's that? Uh, 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 praying without ceasing, man. This is time to be praying without ceasing, man. All right. This is the time where we're going to need the Lord more than ever, man. All right. Because, hey, this devil... As we said, man, it's ready to come down with a great wrath upon the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. All right, pursuing the Psalms 83, man, this devil ha has had that crafty counsel that's been a continual thing. The scriptures tell you also in Ezekiel, this devil has a perpetual hatred towards the children of Israel, man. Meaning a, a never-ending, a forever hatred, man. It's, it's, it's consistently looking at ways to destroy you, man. All right? And it, here it is, the Lord has given us our, our apostles and our elders. All right, statue laws and commandments, giving us our identity back, and our people aren't taking heed to that, man. They rather continue on saying they're American citizen, man. All right, when you can look and see all the things that's about to happen to this place, man, you're supposed to be coming out of the ways of this world, man, renewing your mind, as the scriptures say, man. All right, now, to the ones that, because as the scriptures say, but he shall be saved out of it, it's talking about the hopeful, humble, fearful elect, man, 144,000 men, and the one third, all right, they're going to, hey, Abaratazah, they would be saved out of it, man. And the Lord says, what? During the time of the famine, and his servants are going to eat. Let's get that real quick. Isaiah 65. We're going to start at uh, Isaiah 65 and 13. And it says, what? Therefore, thus saith the Lord, Yahweh by Shema, shy thy power. Behold, my servants shall eat. Isaiah 65 and 13. Therefore, I was just reading up real quick, brother and sister Shalaki. Isaiah 65 and 13, Therefore thus saith the Lord, Yahweh by Shema Shai, thy power, Behold, my servants shall eat, but ye shall be hungry. Behold, my servants shall drink, but ye shall be thirsty. Behold, my servants shall rejoice, but ye shall be ashamed. All right, so the ones that believe on Yahweh by Shema Shai are going to, the Lord's going to make sure that he's going to make a way that his servants are going to eat, his servants are going to drink, going to rejoice, man. All right. But the ones that didn't choose the ways of the Lord are going to be ashamed, man. They're going to be hungry, right? They're going to be thirsty, right? And that's that's literally and spiritually, man. 
All right. They're going to be ashamed that they didn't choose the ways of the Lord, man, that they chose to follow their oppressor, man, that they chose to follow the ways of the world, man. All right. Now it says, behold, my servant shall sing for joy of heart, but ye shall cry of sorrow of heart. Ye shall howl for vexation of spirit. All right. The ones that didn't choose the Lord, you howl by your mouth shot and want to lean on their own understanding. The one that chose to trust in men and the princesses and not trust on the Lord. And you're going to be howling for your vexation of, of, of all the, the shameness that you're going through, man. As as a because the a, a cannibalism is going to come back and the people are going to be howling from from just all type of things, man. All right. From being vexed in the spirit because they didn't choose the ways of the Lord, man. But the Lord said, ye, Abaratazah, that's the hope for humble, fearful election. And we're going to sing and our minds are going to be full of joy, man. Because we know that a, 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 the Lord is going to redeem and going to deliver us, man. All right. But the ones that didn't choose the ways of the Lord, man, they're going to catch. And that's why I said a time like no other, man. All right. Because it's going to be a whole high, it's going to be a high level of, of a once again, two thirds of our people are going to get cut off and die, man. All right. That's a large number, man. Sixty six point six percent, man. All right. are going to get cut off and die, man, because they didn't choose the ways of the Lord, man. They chose to trust in, the, in this world, man. They chose to trust in Esau, their enemy, man. All right. When the scriptures tell us, man, never trust thine enemy, man. Never. Not sometimes or once in a while or every blue moon, but never trust your enemy. And here it is. You have our people out here just full fledged trusting this goddamn system in this society, man. All right. And this system is, is meant to fail you, man. All right. Now, um, real quick, just showing it that two thirds are going to get cut off and die. This is Zechariah chapter 13, verse eight and nine. It says, and it shall come to pass that in all the land, saith the Lord. Two parts therein shall be cut shall shall be cut off and die, but the third shall be left therein. And I will bring the third part through the fire and refine them as silver is refined, and will try them as gold is tried, and they shall call my name, and I will hear them. I will say it is my people, and they shall say the Lord, Yahweh Bashima was shy, is my power. Now notice that the Lord said they shall call upon my name, and he will hear them, man, as we read earlier, as we quoted earlier. Isaiah 66 and 5, it says, seek the Lord while he is near, man. All right? That, that when you're seeking the Lord, man, what are you going to do, man? You're going to be learning the the, the, the Lashwam Kadash, man, the, the ancient uh, Hebrew, man, to get the real name of the Lord because the Lord says, they will call my name and I will hear them, man. All right? And it says, and they shall and they shall say, the Lord is my power, man. All right? Because you got to know that name of the Lord as well, man. To know the right name to be praying to, to call upon, man. Because... What's the use in, let's say, this prime example, if, you, if you're looking to get some help, and let's say you, you're looking to get some help from uh, Jeremiah right here, this, this prime example, you know somebody, hey, Jeremiah, I need your help. What's the use in calling him uh, 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 Jerry, you're just screaming, hey, Jerry, Jerry, come help me with my tire. Guess what? He's not going to understand you. But if you call his name, hey, Jeremiah, come help me with my tire. He's going to be like, okay, I'm coming over to help you because you, you, you know the name of it. You can't just... Uh, come at, at, at that whole saying come as you are man that's not true man the lord has uh, uh certain uh ways that that, that he has uh, uh laws that pretty much statute laws and commandments that he's given the house of israel so there's no such thing as come as you are man another lie that our people have been told man the lord says about what well, women wearing modest apparel all right men not cutting your beards and all to, and uh, not cutting in your beards and edging up your hair so you can't come as you are man the Lord has certain ways that you have to come. And then what the scriptures say as well, it says, I study to show yourself approved, man. All right. So if you're, you're studying the law, statute, the statute laws and commandments to the best of your ability, you're trying to make sure that you have all the uh, dots, uh, I's dotted and T's crossed, man. Making sure that you're uh, 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 prepared to the best of your ability, man. All right. Because, hey, if you're studying to show yourself approved, that means you're studying ways to, to, to be approved. That's like. If you're going to an all-white party, man, what's the point of coming up there? You're going to have to wear all-white to get access into the party. You can't come to an all-white party wearing brown or all-black. They're going to turn you around, man. All right? That's the whole point of, of instructions, man. But once again, our, our people despise wisdom and instructions, man. All right? But as I said, man, this was just a, a, a real short video. Through the power and the spirit of Yahweh Bashim, I was shy, I was I was edifying and good nourishment to the house of David. And once again, man, as we're getting ready for the, for this famine, man, all right, this is time to be seeking the Lord while he is near, man. All right, as we see in the screen right here, they 
already right here is something, man. They, they got these uh care packets for $25. All right, all emergency kits. And as this article right here was saying, man, you know. So this, this situation is, is, is quite terrible. You mentioned the $345 million number. How much of that has been elevated as a result of what's been playing out in Russia, Ukraine? Obviously, when we talk about inflation overall, I mean, a lot of that has been driven by that mm. energy, a big one. But also, we're talking about a big grain exporter um, and their key exporter, especially to developing countries. Yeah. I mean, uh, all I can say is that, I mean, you can easily put about 50 million people um, to the consequences of war in, in Ukraine. Um, we're looking at inflation. I mean, obviously, we follow that quite closely, both inflation as uh, general inflation, but also food inflation. Now, I can tell you that upwards of 50 countries right now have food inflation, which is more than 15%. Many countries are like, uh, I mean, um, even even some this of the, the, the close the to a million people in famine. Uh, Quite terrible. And we got to keep in mind as well, too. All right, brothers and sisters, you can uh, look at this video at your own discretion. Uh, it's kind of pretty lengthy, and the point has really been made. But with all these uh, famines, it's going to usher in the CHIP, man, because our people are going to get weak. The ones that don't believe in in the Lord, that's not trusting in the Lord. They're going to get weak, and Esau is going to so-called come with this, with, like I said, the scripts say so-called great wonders, man, all right? So-called great wonders with the CHIP to be like, hey, all your, if you want to eat, get the CHIP. If you want to be out of debt, get the CHIP, and you won't have, and then we got to keep in mind, once again, Mr. Gates is is pretty much owns these uh, these uh, agriculture places, these, these farms now, man. So you're going to be eating all type of bull crap, man. All right, going back to never trust thine enemy, man. But as I said, man, Abaratiza, this video was edifying and good nourishment to the house of David. So I want to close by saying, call Halayim La Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakwadash, double honors to our apostles and our elders here at Great Millstone for teaching us this truth and who rule well. And Shalom to all you brothers across the four corners of this earth, pushing this word with all righteousness and sincerity. To the next time, Shalom.